Welcome to the Mirage GT build video series. In this first video, we're going to be looking at assembling the steering and suspension. And this includes fitting the wishbones, assembling the uprights, fitting the springs and dampers, and attaching the steering rack. Remember, a full list of the torque settings used in this video can be found on our website using the link in the description below. So let's get started. Now that our Stage 1 kit chassis has arrived, it's time to start assembling our Mirage GT. We're going to start by attaching the wishbones to our four wheel arches. Each wheel arch has two wishbones, giving us a total of eight wishbones to attach to our chassis. Notice the difference in shape between the rear and the front wishbones. Be sure that you have assigned them to the correct wheel arch before beginning the assembly. We're going to start by attaching the rear wishbones to our chassis, with the smaller wishbone being positioned in the torque bracket. Once in position, we use the bolts provided to fasten each wishbone in place. These bolts will be tightened once the correct ride height has been set in a later video. The larger wishbone is now fitted to the bottom bracket and again loosely secured. Be sure to fit the rear lower wishbones with a track adjuster at the rear of the car, as shown. The front top wishbone brackets are each supplied with an extra three washers. This is to enable us to position our wishbones and uprights initially with the correct caster angle, and this can be adjusted and changed in a later video. When fitting the front wishbones, be sure to position these additional washers at the back of each bracket, closest to the rear of the chassis. If you require a little extra force when fitting the wishbones, we recommend using a rubber mallet. This will prevent any unwanted damage to our bolts or brackets. Once all of our wishbones are in place, it's time to start assembling our uprights. Each of our two front uprights comes with a steering arm, top ball joint, and hub adapter. We're going to start by attaching the hub adapter to our upright. We recommend using some Loctite on each of these four bolts and ensure that each bolt is tightened to a secure fit. When fitting the steering arm, be sure to align the angled side of the steering arm to the back face of the upright, like so. Again, we recommend some Loctite to ensure a nice tight fit. It's advisable to fit the top ball joint to the wishbones first, before connecting our uprights to the chassis. We start by putting the brass lock nut into the back of the wishbone. Next, we spin our ball joint lock nut to approximately halfway. And now we can start to wind the ball joint back into the lock nut. Any camber adjustment can now be made easily by turning the brass nut at the back, which takes the ball joint in and out. Once in position, the locking nut can now be tightened accordingly. 
Now that our front uprights have been prepared, it's time to fit our rear suspension brackets to our rear uprights. Notice that one side of our rear suspension bracket has a slight lip. This should be positioned facing inwards, like so, to allow for maximum travel. Once our rear suspension bracket is secured tightly to the upright, it's now ready to fit to our rear wishbones. Next up are our springs and dampeners. Notice the difference in size between the front and the rear. When fitting the springs and dampeners, ensure that you have them positioned with the spring adjuster at the bottom and the dampener adjuster facing inwards towards the chassis. This makes them easily adjustable once fitted. We're going to start by attaching these to our chassis first. Once again, we're going to fasten these loosely until we have set the correct ride height in a later video. We can now attach the bottom of the suspension arm to the upright. It's now time to fit our front uprights. The bottom of each front upright is secured using a castle nut and lock pin. With all of our top ball joints already fitted, we can now connect them up easily to the top of our uprights. Before we fit our front springs and dampeners, we're going to attach our steering rack. As this particular vehicle is a right-hand drive, our steering box is located on the right side of our steering rack. This will be used to connect our steering column in a later video. The steering rack is attached to the chassis using these two brackets, and again, be sure that it is secured tightly with the bolts provided. With our steering rack in position, we can now connect it to each of our front uprights. Finally, we can now attach our front springs and dampers. We're going to start at the bottom here, and again, be sure to position the damper adjuster facing inwards towards the chassis. With the bottom now firmly in place, we're going to use the jack to help us line up the top of the suspension arm with the chassis and now we can secure it loosely in place. With our steering column, wishbones, uprights and springs and dampers all in place, it's time to move on to the next stage. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.